Blonde Shell con Blonde nosotros. Shell con Welcome. Nosotros. Sí. How are you Welcome. feeling? I'm good. I'm good. I love it here. Is this your first time in Mexico? Yeah, pretty much. And it's definitely my first time playing here, so it was really fun. So yes. you're you are knowing everything about Mexico right now? Really? I don't know. I, I'm I, learning, I, I, yeah. Yeah. Are like I don't I didn't get a lot of time to look around, mm -hmm. but hopefully tomorrow I'll get to explore a lot. Tell us a little bit about your project. Um, I know you played, you just played in uh, El Escenario Corona, the Corona yeah. stage, which is the main stage here at the festival. I yeah. saw um, a bit of your show. It nice. sounded amazing. Thanks. I loved it. Um, but I, I don't know. But tell us how you feel right now. Um, tell us a little bit about your project and how uh, you felt playing here at uh, the main stage at this festival. The main stage was really fun. I've never played like a main stage at a festival and I got to open wow, it up. I guess I was like the first person to play there. Yes. So it was really fun and the people were very welcoming. And I guess what I can tell you about my project is I don't think that I like fully anticipated for people to hear it that much. Mm -hmm. So I just was like, these are the things I always wanted to say, the types of songs I always wanted to write and I just needed to like work up the courage to do it. So yeah, like these are all the songs that mean the most to me about the most like intimate, serious things about my life. That's so, so cool. And it so cool. kind of, that uh, kind of like allows you as a musician, as a musician I'm sorry, uh, to become a little bit more close to the audience when yeah. music yeah. comes. From there's there's from a lot of things right? about your performance. Uh, first, it's your first time over here. Yeah. And, and second, you are in a in a festival with a lot of bands at Reader Festival. How you feel? How is your feel about that? You well, know? it's an honor to be able to play here and to be able to play on a lineup with such amazing artists. Like, there are so many people that I want to see who are playing here. I want to see Mitski. I've never seen Mitski before. I don't know why, because I've loved her music for so long. So great. So I'm really excited to see her. I'm going to see Charlie XCX. I'm going to awesome. see My Chemical Romance. Of course. So it's like, it's just kind of an honor to be here and be well, part of this festival. I want to hear uh, more about your romance with Charlie. Uh, with Charlie? Yeah. What do you um, can say about that? About Charlie? Yeah. I just think she's a badass. And like, I don't know, I think, Something that I love about music is how you feel like when you're walking around and the confidence that you get listening to it, you just sort of feel different, like you inhabit a different part of yourself. And when I listen to Charlie, I'm like, I'm the baddest bitch in the entire world. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just excited to see it live. That's amazing. I'm going to translate a little bit. Okay, go ahead. This. Um, eh, pues bueno, nos decía aquí Blanchel. What's your name? Sabrina. Sabrina yeah. from, from uh, Blanchel, que es su primera vez en México, que está muy emocionada de estar tocando eh, en este festival, que hay muchos actos que ella misma quiere ver. Quiere ver a Mitski, quiere, quiere ver a Charlie XCX, eh, a My Chemical Romance también, por supuesto. Nos estaba contando que le encanta la música de, de Charlie XCX porque le hace sentir como... You say you understand this in casa, the baddest bitch alive, uh, which is kind of uh, your mu your music also has uh, a really soothing kind of empowering effect uh, on, the, on the audience. I mean, I, I saw you from from I mean, I saw you on this so huge screens, and um, you look so happy and so proud, and it, it it shows. And we're so happy that you're here with us right now too. Yeah, me too. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, can you tell us a little bit about um, what your plans are? Yeah, so I have an album coming out um, next year, and I'm just going to be touring a lot. So it's like January, February, I'm going on tour with Suki Waterhouse. Wow. So I'm opening for her. And then I'm um, going to be in Europe and a lot of time in the UK next summer. And then hopefully more music will just keep coming out and playing more shows and hopefully I'll come back to Mexico. We're looking forward to it, of course. Yeah. Um, 
voy a traducir un poquitín. Eh, le pregunté un poquito sobre sus planes a futuro. Eh, nos cuenta que va a tener un álbum que va a salir próximamente el año que viene. Va a irse de tour por Europa. Va a estar abriendo el show de Suki Waterhouse, que seguramente han escuchado hablar de ella. Eh, ¿Alguna pregunta que le quieras hacer? Sí, yeah, uh, are you used for uh, tour life or is it like the different experience? Uh, I've done it before and I did it in the fall. I went on tour with a British band called Porridge Radio. Um, Porridge Radio? Porridge Radio. <laughs> yeah, they're awesome. Yeah. But I'm not like super used to tour life. I'm figuring it out, but I like it. Like I like being in the car all the time and I like going to different places every day. So it's it's fun for me. Yeah, you are knowing, you are knowing uh, everything like for yeah. the first yeah, time yeah. every day. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Le preguntamos si es nueva, nuevo para ella eh, andar de tour, nos dice que no, que lo ha hecho antes, que tuvo... Eh que estuvo tureando también con Porridge Radio, una banda que han escuchado sin duda en La Supernova y en La Bestia Radio. Eh, dice que le, le, le gusta mucho, la hace sentir muy bien, uh, pues eso. So, um, how do you feel about being a, being a woman in music? Um, things are changing real quick. Um, not real quick, but are starting to change now. There are um, more women on festivals and I, I love that. How does it feel to be a part of that uh, change? Amazing. I think there are a lot of issues like social and political issues that um, really need women's voices behind them and I think like big stages at festivals are a good place to talk about important things. So I just think there are a lot of opportunities to talk about the things that really matter to us and it just feels like Hopefully I'll be able to do that and be a part of the change that's happening. Absolutely, yeah. Translate this real quick. Um, le pregunté que qué se siente ser parte de este cambio en el que las mujeres están teniendo eh, cada vez más presencia en festivales, eh, cada vez más eh, están, pues sí, están participando en la, en la escena musical. Dice que es increíble, que hay muchas, eh, muchos temas sociales y políticos que necesitan, eh, sin duda, las voces de las mujeres, eh, pues sí, allá afuera, ¿no? Estoy totalmente de acuerdo. Yeah, sí, sí, sí. Yo, tam yo también. Uh, it's it's amazing uh, for you, uh, like being a woman and, and having, you know, the chance to to present your your performance live. Um, do you think um, um, you, you you were talking that this is important for 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 everything? So, um, what is um, you know some some message that you that, uh, do you want to? say to our live audience right now, uh, what do you want to say? Everything, whatever you want. Um, well, I think a big part of my music is just being comfortable with really big feelings, like a lot of anger, a lot of sadness, and a lot of joy as well. And I think, specific to being a woman, I think I've sort of gotten the message that sometimes my feelings are too big and then like words like crazy get thrown around you're but overreacting. yeah you're overreacting you're dramatic blah yeah. blah blah and i just think like if you're asking about messages or about why it's so important right now to have more and more female artists i think part of it is just like normalizing ha talking about these things that women are singing about right now that make uh, those things that makes us human yeah right? yeah make us human eh, le preguntábamos ¿no? también sobre mensajes importantes que ella tuviera que darnos a, a la audiencia y dice que quiere que parte de la importancia de las mujeres en la escena musical es eh, pues ponerle nombre ¿no? y empezar a normalizar las emociones. It's okay to feel big feelings. Right? Yeah, yeah. Y eso es algo súper importante. It is so important because uh, patriarchy and everything kind of like um, don't allow men to have feelings and I think that's yeah. the root of so many bad things. Yeah, me too. Like, me too. Like violence and everything. So thank you for being a voice uh, to, you know, of, of feelings and those things that make us human, really. And um, we uh, wish you so much success thank in you. your uh, upcoming tour, the new album and everything. Uh, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. And congratulations.